Underworld Awakening is a 2012 American 3D action horror film directed by Mans Marland and Bjorn Stein. It is the fourth installment in the Underworld franchise, with Kate Beckinsale reprising her role as Celine, joined by Theo James, Michael Ely, and India Isley. Filming began in March 2011 in Vancouver, British Columbia and the film was released in digital 3D, IMAX 3D and 2D theatres on January 20, 2012. Topic. Plot A few years after the events of the second film, both the government and the general public have become aware of the existence of the vampires and lichens. A program to study and potentially harness their powers soon escalates into an all-out genocide and shortly after the purge begins, Celine and Michael are captured by humans. Due to her enhanced vampiric traits, Celine is imprisoned in cryogenic suspension. After being frozen for 12 years, during which both species have been hunted to the brink of extinction, Celine manages to escape. She learns that another subject, whom she initially believes to be Michael, has also escaped. While making her way through the high-tech facility, Celine has visions from someone else's point of view. Believing that Michael is mentally guiding her, she follows the visions, which lead her down a garbage chute into a labyrinthine series of basement tunnels. Here she encounters a young vampire named David, who has been tracking her. They quickly realize that the tunnels are infested with sick and weakened lichens, who are hunting the subject Celine is connected with. Determined to reach Michael, Celine fights her way through the lichen pack until she reaches the second escapee, not Michael, but a frightened and confused young girl. Using David's van, Celine, David and the girl make their way out of the facility, only to be attacked once again by a trio of lichens. David stabs a lichen while Celine shoots another, the third smashes its way into the rear of the vehicle, where it bites the girl's shoulder. This triggers a partial transformation, revealing her hybrid traits, as she savagely rips the creature's head in half. Celine realizes this is her and Michael's daughter. The girl reveals that during her own escape from the facility, she found Celine's cryogenic tank and deactivated it, which was what allowed Celine to escape. However, despite her hybrid nature, it becomes apparent that her bite wound is not healing and she is rapidly growing weaker, resulting in David agreeing to take the pair to his coven. After she reluctantly drinks some blood, her wound heals, but as they do not feel welcome in the coven, Celine prepares to leave. David tries to convince her to stay and help them start an offensive against the humans by training some death dealers, but before she makes up her mind, the coven comes under attack by lichens. Celine joins the fight and kills many lichens before being knocked unconscious by a huge super lichen that heals instantly and is not affected by silver. When she awakens later she finds that Thomas, David's father, has surrendered her daughter to the Lycans in return for them leaving. David has been mortally wounded in the battle, but Celine revives him with her blood. After leaving, Celine confronts a human detective named Sebastian, who is sympathetic to the vampires due to his now dead wife being a vampire. Sebastian confirms that the lichens have been traced to Antigen, the corporation dedicated to killing off the immortal species, and which also runs the facility from which Selene has escaped. 
Selene discovers that Antigen is actually run by Lycans, who have been posing as humans in order to trick the world's governments into believing the Lycans are extinct. The director of Antigen, Dr. Jacob Lane, is trying to perfect the Lycan race and needs the DNA of Selene's daughter to do so. The Super Lycan Selene faced earlier is identified as Quint, Lane's son and the prototype for Lycan modifications. Selene and Sebastian assault Antigen to stop Lane's plan and save Selene's daughter, who they begin calling Eve. Selene comes across Subject Zero, whom she identifies as Michael, and attempts to free him by shooting his cryogenic tank. However, she is forced to leave the thawing Michael in order to stop the Lycans from escaping with Eve. David, who since being healed by her blood has inherited Selene's immunity to sunlight, arrives and helps Sebastian kill several Lycan henchmen. After confronting Lane and Quint, Selene fights Quint. Once she tricks him into returning to his more vulnerable human form by hiding in a narrow tunnel, Selene kills him by implanting a silver grenade in his stomach, while Eve kills Lane by ripping out his throat. As the police arrive, Sebastian urges the vampires to flee and distracts the officers. Celine, Eve, and David return to Michael's tank and find it empty with the ice shattered. Celine states that the world will be hunting Michael and the trio vow to find him first. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cast Scott Speedman, who appeared as Michael Corvin in the first two films in the series, announced that he would not be reprising his role for the fourth installment, however he did appear in archive footage from the first and second films, although a stand-in was used in the scenes where he is seen in an unconscious state. Production. Filming began in March 2011 at Simon Fraser University in Vancouver, British Columbia. Awakening is one of the first movies to be shot using Red Epic digital cameras in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Music Topic soundtrack The soundtrack was released to digital outlets on January 17, 2012, by Lakeshore Records. Most of the songs were remixed by Danny Lona and use work from the bands Evanescence, Linkin Park, The Cure, Lacuna Coil and Aesthetic Perfection amongst others. Made of Stone, Renholder Remix, Evanescence, Heavy Prey, Lacey Sturm of Flyleaf Feet, Gino Leonardo, Blackout, Renholder Remix, Linkin Park, Apart, Renholder Remix, The Cure, Killer and a Queen, Stella Katsudas of Sister Soleil Feet. Gino Leonardo, Watch Yourself, Renholder Remix, Ministry, Trip the Darkness, Ben Wayman Remix, Lacuna Coil, Young Blood, Renholder Remix, The Naked and Famous, It Rapes All in Its Path, Black Light Burns, The Posthumous Letter, William Control, How I Supposed to Die, Civil Twilight, Consolation Prize, and Sons, Liar, Revenant Mix by 8mm, 8mm, You Won't See. See the Light Ryan T. Hope of the Lifeline Feet. Gino Leonardo Bottle of Pain Combacrest Intruder Collide Exit Wounds Justin Lassen Remix Justin Lassen Feet. Silent Fury Topic <laughs> Score Topic: Critical reception. 
The film received generally negative reviews from film critics. Review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes gave the film a score of 27%, based on 71 reviews, with an average rating of 4.3.10. The site's consensus reads, "...there's more vapid action and less story in Underworld, awakening than previous installments, making the whole affair feel inconsequential." Metacritic has given the film a score of 39 out of 100, based in 17 critics. Movie review website The Filtered Lens gave the film a negative review, citing that, If you try and pay attention to the plot, you will get a headache. However, they did note that the action was well done and said it was the goriest of the series. Film critic Chris Pandolfi viewed the film positively, especially compared to the first two in the franchise, saying, Although it's about as lasting as dust in the wind, I think it represents what the series should have been right from the start, an escapist supernatural action thriller that gives us license to put our brains on autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> sequel.